Hey guys, welcome to ChessRoots.com. This was a live game played between Grishasan and Navara David in Reykjavik Week Tournament 2013. Here, Navara David is black and Grishasan is white. So d4, knight f6, c4, g6, f3. So this f3 uh, opening we, we often won't see f3. Maybe after e4 this opening may convert into uh, Samish opening in King's Indian defense. So the early f3 uh, results in some uh, some drawbacks in this particular line. White is not committed uh, almost like bishop g7 or uh, knight c3 white is not played. So here in this position uh, you can uh, simply play moves like c5 is also possible. So c5 d5 maybe later he can play e4 and play the not normal Samish game but now our David played a new uh, new idea with knight c6 he's not just play, uh, playing with pawns he just want to counter attack the center with pieces t5 knight e5 e4 d6 just keeping this knight a rotating square on d7 knight c3 bishop g7 f4 knight in uh, e d7 knight f3 castles bishop e2 now as we can see this position we often see this position uh, this type of pawn structure from white side in king's indian defense or uh, queen or uh, uh, benoni opening so in that positions we often see a most like c uh, black pawn will be on c5 and black will open with e6 so now though now the black uh, uh, not even committed anything he can now simply break up the center by playing a move like c6 so here he played knight c5 attacking the e4 pawn queen c2 c6 a very good way to open up the center because he is uh, keeping the chances of bishop maybe after c, c into d5 e into d5 he can jump to bishop f5 so he doesn't want to even close this small uh, uh, opportunity so d into c6 b into c6 now i think Rastan played a mistake by playing bishop e3 uh, this bishop e3 is mistake uh, because after uh, knight g4 was played in the game and uh, white really don't have uh, left with much options instead of uh, going back to c1 or g1 if he played a move like uh, bishop uh, for example bishop t4 black can simply play a move like e5 and after f into a e5 he can simply play knight e6 driving this bishop away and after bishop g1 knight into e5 this position is very good for black in view of the king is not castled and the pieces have not not even a good coordination so after uh, knight g4 if it plays a more like bishop into c5 black simply gets the double bishop advantage and he needs to close this diagonal after e5 f6 uh, we don't need even to analyze this position black is simply advantage because there is more of bishop f5 f into e5 these two bishops will be dominating the game and this rook file will also be open so this position should be better for clearly better for black so after knight g4 is simply went bishop g1 rook b8 knight d4 bishop d7 now if we capture a more like uh, bishop into g4 for example bishop into g4 in view of uh, uh, knight c6 here black have an inter counter chance uh, he, we will not take bishop into g4 instead he will take simply rook into b2 if queen into b2 he can simply play knight d3 check and knight into queen if he plays a more like queen d1 queen a5 and this position is lost so um, uh, he played h3 knight f6 bishop e3 now he simply wants to castle here white black play knight h5 now the idea is to simply play knight uh, g3 maybe knight into e2 or 
so most of us uh, uh, will not like to see this type of moves so uh, as a guest son he simply took bishop into h5 which is a big blunder and pause this position for a few minutes and try to analyze the game and how see the winning combination of uh, how black will win from this position okay here he played rook into b2 in view of no queen into b2 is not possible because of knight d3 check uh, knight into b2 loses the queen so if you play queen c1 simply knight d3 check loses so if queen d1 queen a5 another good move attacking the c3 knight if rook c1 knight into e4 this knight is now uh, so it's simply casualed knight into c3 attacking the queen queen e1 queen into h5 now queen into c3 so far uh, black had in two pawns now finally this move finishes uh, the game and uh, christian was forced to resign this position so he played rook into g2 again one more brilliant move after king into g2 bishop h3 here now our david just uh, just won the game with uh, with this so the reason why he uh, resigned in view of king f2 maybe uh, queen h4 king e2 uh, take this rook with a check now there is a pin of there is a attack of knight f3 so queen g4 check maybe king f2 then c5 uh, he, he he gets back his pieces with four pawns and advantage so this was a very good game played by uh, Navar David and like with Vic Open German. Hope you enjoyed the game. Uh, see you in the next video, uh, next live update. Please don't forget to subscribe and leave comments.